Police say a threatening Facebook message links a man to murder. WREG's Marcus Hunter spoke with the victim's mother to give police the message that ultimately led to an arrest. Confusion in court. It took over an hour before bailiffs were able to locate LaMarcus Smith inside 201 Poplar to bring him before a judge. When they did, he was formally charged with first degree murder in connection to the death of Darnell Appling. You're charged with first degree murder, the class A felony of carrying life without parole, life with parole, or the death penalty. According to a police affidavit, just before 2 a.m. December 29th, they were called to the Valentine Evergreen neighborhood. There, they found 29 year old Darnell Appling shot to death. Police say after contacting the family, Appling's mother showed them a Facebook message where Smith threatened Appling. Appling's mother says she immediately knew her son's death was linked to the post. I said, oh, you better put your on a leash before something happens to you. According to Appling's mother, Sarah Shepard, the woman Smith was referring to was his ex-girlfriend and the mother of his child. She said her son was in her car when he and the car were shot up. She said what makes this harder is knowing Smith and Appling were friends. Smith even posted on his Facebook page a link to a GoFundMe asking his followers to donate to help with Appling's funeral expenses. Baffling, like, because they called each other their cousin, you know, that was his, his almost like his best friend. So it's just like hard to believe that you would do that over a female. Police say Smith's new girlfriend admitted to them he stole her gun and used it to shoot and kill Appling. He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that at all. She says her son is a loving person who would have helped anyone out. Appling leaves behind two children. In Memphis, Marcus Hunter, WREG News Channel 3. By the way, Smith will be back in court on the 31st. He is being held without bond.